exoplanets are planets that exist outside of our planetary system. They orbit around a star like how the Earth orbits our Sun. There are billions of exoplanets in the galaxy and they come in many different shapes and sizes. Scientists on Earth study exoplanets because we hope to find extraterrestrial life. As of 2021, we have found and confirmed wow. more than 4,000 exoplanets. Guys, I've come across so many different types of exoplanets that I started to organize them into four categories based on their sizes. I've named them based on the planets in your solar system. They are gas giants, Neptunian planets, super earths, and terrestrial planets. Gas giants and Neptunian planets are gaseous planets like Jupiter and Neptune, whereas the super earth and terrestrial planets are rocky planets with a surface. What type of planet is your home planet, Alan? Does it have a name? My planet is called Zima. It's a terrestrial planet. Usually, water and carbon can be found on terrestrial planets. These are two important elements that are required for the creation of life forms like us. Since there are billions of exoplanets in our galaxy, Alan, how do you know if a planet will have extraterrestrial life forms beyond Earth? Great question, Astrid. Usually, we look for the planets in the Goldilocks zone. Oh, I know about that. The Goldilocks zone is a region of space where the conditions are just right for life to exist. Exactly, Nixon. Your Earth is in this region of the solar system. My theory is that an exoplanet with life must be in this zone because the temperature needs to be just right for water to exist. That's right. Water is one of the most important elements needed for life. You see, if the Earth was too close to the Sun, then the temperature would be too hot and life would never have been able to evolve. Similarly, if the Earth was too far away from the Sun, the temperature would be too cold for life to evolve. Similar to the Earth, the temperature of exoplanets in the Goldilocks zone would be just perfect for water to exist. So Alan, your theory is that if a planet is in the Goldilocks zone, it must have life forms. Yes, Nixon. Part of my mission is to search for life forms similar to you and me. We are known as carbon-based life forms because the basic element that makes up our bodies is carbon. Well, why don't we travel to exoplanets in the Goldilocks zone and see if we can find any extraterrestrial life forms? Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial!